This is Mrs. Murphy again here and now we have another example. In this particular program it's called Snake Eyes and Snake Eyes is when you roll the dice and get doubles, ones. And so you have two ones I guess. And um, the what this program does is it continuously rolls the dice and displays the values until you get snake eyes and then it took you to get how many times you rolled to get snake eyes. Now this is just a console program so it's just going to display in this output window so right now I just have this kind of up here for now so you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm just going to run this really quick and it will show you look at all those times it says snake eyes it shows you all the values of the dice and says took you 32 times to roll snake eyes. So let's take you through this code and show you what it's doing. Okay, since it's console program, the only method it's going to run is that we have coded is this main method. And I have two variables for the dice and a random number generator. That way I could keep track of the rolls of the dice. And then I have this I count variable that's just going to count how many times it goes through the loop. Now, in order to roll snake eyes, um, or in order to see if we have snake eyes, we have to roll the dice first. So in this particular situation, we time we need to roll the dice. And we don't know how many times it's going to take us, so we can't use a for loop. So in this situation, we're going to test at the bottom, and this do right here is going gonna, is gonna to start the loop, and it ends at this while statement. And in this situation, the code inside is it's going to roll the dice by setting it equal to a random number. It's going to display the dice, so it's just going to display die 1 and die 2 with the system.out.print. And then it's going to count 1 because it's rolled the dice. And each time it's going to count up 1. Then it's going to come and it's going to hit our ending situation. So long as this die is greater than 1 or this die is greater than 1, then it's not snake eyes because that means dice is like 3 or something. And until it finally gets snake eyes. And as soon as this condition is met, as soon as this condition is no longer true, I should say, so it 1 greater than 1 is a false statement, 1 greater than 1 is a false statement, so it will fall out of the loop. Then it will display the number of rolls that it took to reach snake guys. Okay, so once again, here we have a test at the bottom because we wanted our code to loop through at least one time before making our test, and we didn't know the number of iterations, so we couldn't use a for loop.